up, everybody? Mark Parson, quarterback pro, Houston, Texas, New Orleans Saint. Now I'm coaching you guys, former NFL football player. All right. So, guys, hit me up for the programs. You trying to get recruited? Definitely hit me up. Put recruited in the subject line. All right. So hit me up at cornerbackpro at gmail.com. Um, so let's get into it. Look what I found, man. Ohio State. That's big time right there. Ohio, Ohio State cornerback drill tape. So in this video, there's actually a couple things. I'm gonna show you what I mean by exit angle and cover two, and I'm gonna show you a couple of clips of press man. Now this doesn't really go into it. It's, it's, it seems like a little walkthrough that they're working on, some drills, some skills, but I'm still gonna show you because it's good to see. It's really good to see college uh, Division One A players. Now obviously not everybody's gonna go D one A. You know what? Sometimes it's better not to go D one A. Sometimes it's better go D two, D three, so you can get more of an experience and. A lot of those, 50% of the NFL actually, guys, are uh, not Division One A. okay? So um, I want you to see it. I want you to just imagine yourself. Use your imagination as if you were playing, all right? All right, so the first thing we got is the press releases. So you see up here, Ohio State press releases. They're in practice. All right, so... There's a lot of different things you can do, right? Different techniques. So you got to know what you're going to do at the line. He's shading inside. Inside kick step. Bam. So watch his inside foot. Watch inside foot. Where, where are his eyes located? Bam. Right here. At his waist. Eyes. Feet. Hands. Be careful. Now look. Naturally, you're going to sometimes drop your hands. That's natural. Just like you playing, you know, you like it. I always talk about you're a point guard, right? Playing basketball. So you can move a little bit better when you drop your hands sometimes. But just be aware because some guys like to come off the ball really hard, you know, and they may strike you in your chest. So be ready to punch. Or a better word is strike. Be ready to strike. Get used to having your hands up ready to strike like you're a boxer or an MMA fighter, okay? Obviously, open hand. Don't have closed hands. Now, right here, look like you did an inside kick step. I'm not necessarily sure, but I would say this. Note this. You want to stay square as long as possible. And I'm I'm guarantee you 96 right here, who's probably a scout team or one of the punt guys, the special teams guys, he doesn't even know how to really stand right here. So he's not really pressing you. So fight. Are you going to do this uh, technique right here, the kick step, the inside kick step? That's cool. But fight to get two shovels in and stay square, okay? That's my advice for, uh, I think, 19. Let's watch that again. See how he opens up immediately? And that's what his coach is probably telling him. Let's watch seven. Nice little quick soft shoe, okay? So literally just a step back. Watch this little step back. But watch how he stays square. Boom. Stay square. And then punch. Okay, now here's what. Perfect eyes. Right on his waist. Perfect feet. But what the what, what do you what comes next? It's the hands. So eyes, feet, hands. Right? Now when you strike, they need to feel it. They gotta feel that strike. Okay? Let's watch that one more time. Let's watch it one more time. Bam! Strike him right in the right in the chest, man. Man, he needs to feel you right there every single time. But good job. Eyes and feet were perfect. Kick step. Well, I think, is that the same one or the same guy? Because I think 13. Because you want to stay square. You want to. You don't want to open up. Eyes look kind of high. Oh, perfect, man. This is good for you, man. All right, so for 19. You know, obviously, I'm not able to necessarily see if he's looking at the waist. But from, from what it looks like, I think he gets caught looking up here. Because usually, I think on the last rep, he was you could tell he was looking right here. Right here is kind of hard to see, but his head is a little up more. And what happens is, if you're looking at the guy's head or up here, a, any kind of juke will get you off balance. So I think he buzzes his feet. So eyes were off right here. He buzzes his feet. So we got the foot fire technique, right? We talk about that. So foot fire technique, you definitely got to look at his waist, okay? All right, so let's watch that again. You see what I'm saying? He was kind of off right there. And it's not like, again, 
it's not like, like it's not like 96 is giving them that much. So, and then lastly on that, make sure that it's a firm strike. So it's not like a rap. It's not like a hook. Don't think of this like a hook punch, right? It's a strike. It's like, bam, bam. And I got videos where I'm talking about how I punch the bag to get used to it, to get strike. I always tell my guys, hey, yo, take MMA, take boxing, man. Take a course. You know, go to the boxing gym and get some punches in, man. Every man should know how to fight. Two. That's you should know every guy should train and know how to protect himself. Let's do his last rep. All right. Good job. Let's watch this. I'm gonna see if fall steps, which is okay sometimes. Look, I talk about the fall. Okay, so what's the fall step in the soft shoe? If you watch Al, I think it was Al Harris from the Green the Green Bay. I went back too far. For the Green Bay, Green Bay Packers back in maybe like four or five, nah, probably like six years ago. He did the soft shoe every rep, and he would fall step. And you're like, well, that's a wasted movement. Well, if you ever had to guard a guy, obviously, you would know how that feels. So it's more comfortable. So I'm not saying don't do it, you know? I'm not saying to be a robot. So let's watch that again so you can see what I'm saying. But it's perfect. Watch this. He took a little, takes a little step back, not too far back, and he stays square. I would like a better punch from him. I would like a better punch. But good job. Stay square. So good job by seven. You can tell Phil seven. I'm not sure who these guys are, but um, that was actually that was really good by seven. Um, you don't want to do the same technique every rep, right? Because the thing is, you can do the same thing every rep. These guys get smarter. It's machine learning, right? That's a human brain, man. We learn. So you want to have a whole list of techniques, which I teach, which I teach and I have on this channel. So make sure you 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 look at you you want to master all your techniques. Now you're gonna have a bread and butter in your press releases. You gonna have a bread and butter, but uh, you want to have a, a um, different variation of of how you you know all your techniques, man. So you can use them in different situations. All right. So Ohio State, look, watch out for the next videos because I I'm gonna do a couple other ones. We got one for cover two and how to get in that exit angle, okay? And um, cloud corner. So yeah, this is good, man. Make sure you guys email me cornerbackpro at gmail.com if you want to be recruited. I'm going to. Save your email for now. It's February 10th right now. I'm going to save your email, and then I'm going to hit you up in the following week with that information, and you need to get the training program because it's not just your body. Anybody can train your body. I want to help train your mind. Get your mindset ready, all right? You were, you were put on this earth to be great, and that's what I'll help you guys with, okay? All right, peace. Look out for the next video with Ohio State.